Like my dad, when I was young, he always worked late, very, very late, but he always made sure to give me that certain confidence. He made me understand that you need to work if you want to accomplish something, because he would always, he would come back from work late at night, like around 9 or 10 p.m., come back, eat a little something, and then continue to work at home. <clears throat> and, um, but whenever he had the time, he took it, he went out with me to play football. He always told me, I remember, he always said, use your left foot, use your left foot. See the other guys, they can use the left foot, like, like he's African. He always, he always was a bit hard, but never too hard with me. He made me understand what it means to fight for something and just not to quit. And um, most importantly, to be patient. When I was complaining about certain things, because I was quite comfortable, <laughs> sometimes even lazy, um, he told me, listen, here, little son, every morning before school, I had to walk five kilometers to get some water for the family, and then I would go to school. So sometimes to make me more tough or to make me more uh, grateful, he told me this story. But apart from that, he didn't mention too much because um, he wanted to keep his background out of my life. He's raising me in a different culture with a different mentality, so he didn't want to mix it up. That's why he also did not uh, uh, teach me his, his uh, native language to, to make my life in Germany as easy as possible because he knew I looked different than a typical German kid and he knew I could face problems, so he wanted to reduce the the possibility of me facing problems because of my different background or of my two nationalities, he wanted to reduce it to a minimum. You say, yes, I'm, I'm mixed race. You just say it because your parents tell you. You see your mom, your, your mom is white, your dad is black. You, you know it, but you don't know what it means. That's something you learn in life later when you get, um, when you make your first experience with, with, uh, yeah, with racism and something, but back then, for me, it was just normal. I was just happy to be around other kids. Sometimes I felt scared. <laughs> sometimes I was just angry and I wanted to fight. And sometimes it just hurt. I mean, I won't sit down here and say, all my life I have been abused uh, by racists. I had some incidents, friends of mine, they, they had much worse situations, even my sister because she's 13 years older than me, she and her friends, because she also used to hang out with a lot of mixed people or people from different cultures. They had much more problems than I had, but still it's, it's never a nice feeling. At the beginning of the year, I was just, I wasn't even sad, I was just angry and disappointed because I was in my old club, Hanover. I come there for the warm up Apart from the things that you have to listen to anyway, which you just accept, and this is said already, I was just, how can this happen? And because I never had this in professional football, never. If, if I speak up, and I'm not a world star, but I know that there are some young kids maybe looking up to me, and I know if they see that I'm speaking up, maybe they, they just do the same thing, because everyone, or every football player that is known has some kind of um, function as an, as, an, as an idol also, or is an idol for, some, for someone. So instead of just showing what we are able to afford or what we can buy and stuff, we should also use our, our, um, our network and um, this stage like to, to, to show people what's right. At some stages in my life, I had the feeling that maybe I'm not accepted as a German completely or I'm viewed, I'm not viewed as German even though I might feel German because I'm born here, I speak the language. Um, at first sight to most people I don't even look African because I'm more or less white. So maybe in summer you can, you can, you can reckon or if you, if you see my hair. Most of the people think I'm from Tunisia or Morocco or whatever, but um, I always felt a stronger connection to, to the Nigerian side in me because, yeah, because I know I'm, I'm different and I know that people, they, most of the people view me different. I think the time has changed a little bit. Um, 
the, the society is a bit more open now. My father came to Germany in 67 or 1966, 1967, and he adapted as well. He learned the language, um, he made a diploma and everything. So he just tried to raise me how everyone else would raise their kids in Germany. But of course then, and especially now, he's very, 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 very proud, especially that I chose to <coughs> play for Nigeria. I mean, I never really had the choice to play for Germany, but still it makes him very, very proud. And maybe he's even a bit relieved because now he's not in the responsibility of bringing me so close to the culture. I can make my own experiences now.